Welcome to Certification Synergies, CompTIA, Linux Plus, XK0-005, Practice Exam. Questions 46 through 50. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 46. A system administrator has established a directory named forward slash shared underscore data. The administrator aims to prevent anyone but the owner from deleting or renaming the files within this directory. Which of the following commands will achieve this objective? The answer is A. Chuma plus T, forward slash shared underscore data. Now that we know the answer, let's break it down. The chumod command is used in Linux to change the permissions of files and directories. The plus T option sets the sticky bit on the directory. When the sticky bit is set on a directory, it restricts the deletion or renaming of files within the directory to only the file owner, the directory owner, or the root user. As for the forward slash shared underscore data, this specifies the directory for which the permissions are being modified. Question 47. A system administrator would like to locate and remove all files in the forward slash shared underscore data file that were modified more than 90 days ago. Which command will complete this task? The answer is D. Now that we know the answer, let's break it down. Starting off, the find command is used to search for files and directories within a specified directory hierarchy. In this case, the shared underscore data directory. The dash type F option specifies that only files, not directories, should be considered in the search. Dash M time plus 90 is used to specify the number of days since the file was last modified. In this case, plus 90 indicates files that were modified more than 90 days ago. The last part of this command executes the remove command for each file that matches the specified criteria. Question 48. Employees are unable to establish a remote connection to a company server. Which of the following commands can be executed on the company server to resolve this issue? The answer is B. Now that we know the answer, let's break it down. The IP tables command is used for configuring the Linux firewall, allowing administrators to manage network traffic by defining rules and policies. The dash a input option specifies that the rule being added applies to incoming packets. It appends the rule to the end of the specified chain, in this case, the input chain. The dash i option specifies the network interface on which the rule should be applied. In this case, the Ethernet zero interface. The dash ptcp option specifies the protocol of the traffic to which the rule applies. Double dash dport 22 option specifies the destination port to which the rule applies. Since remote connections often use SSH, which by default operates on port 22, double dash D port 22 ensures that the rule applies to SSH traffic. Finally, the dash J accept option specifies the action to take if the conditions specified by the rule are met. In this case, accept indicates that incoming packets matching the rule should be accepted and allowed through the firewall. Question 49. A network administrator is tasked with configuring a Linux server to persistently enable IPv4 forwarding. Which command can be used to achieve this objective? The answer is D. Now that we know the answer, let's break it down. By echoing the text net.ipv4.ip underscore forward equals 1 into forward slash at C forward slash sys ctl dot conf and appending it to the end of the file, the administrator sets the kernel parameter net dot ipv 4 dot ip underscore forward to 1, effectively enabling ipv 4 forwarding. More importantly, this modification ensures that the ipv 4 forwarding setting persists across system reboots. Whenever the system starts up, it reads the configuration from forward slash at c forward slash sys ctl dot conf and applies the specified kernel parameters, including the IPv4 forwarding setting. Question 50. A network administrator has just enabled IPv4 forwarding using the following command. Echo, open parenthesis, net.ipv4.ip underscore 
forward equals one, close parenthesis, append to forward slash at c forward slash sys ctl dot conf. Which of the following commands should be used next to apply this change without rebooting? The answer is C. Sysctl p. When the sysctl command is used with the dash p option, the settings from the forward slash at c forward slash sysctl dot conf file are applied to the running kernel. In the context of enabling IPv4 forwarding, the network administrator's previous action of appending net.ipv4.ip underscore forward equals 1 to forward slash etsy forward slash sysctl.conf effectively sets the system to forward IPv4 packets between network interfaces. By running sysctl-p after making this modification, the administrator ensures that the change takes effect immediately without requiring a system reboot. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.